Hello there, Napjack27 here. I was curious about something during my gameplay of uh, The Division. I was wondering if hyper-threading, or having eight cores, essentially, is beneficial to this game. Since um, some people might cheap out, get an i5, it's good enough with most other games. I decided to disable hyper-threading on my Broadwell i7, and take a look at the performance differences in GPU usage, CPU usage, and frame rate. But first, let's take a look at some eye candy. This is a run of the game that I used for my benchmark with every different setting that I changed. Just a nice walk around the block. And then we'll get to the graphs and what I think my conclusion is. Enjoy. Okay, so right here we're taking a look at ultra quality, and I don't use um, any of the anti-aliasing in the game, because I a personal preference, and also the chromatic uh, aberration and vignetting and the depth of field I also disable. But other than that, it's ultra, no NVIDIA specific settings. So this is ultra quality with hyper threading. As you can see, it's um, pretty much pinging the GPU for the whole five minutes that I did this run. The frames per second, it's got a nice average of about 57 frames per second average. Um, the CPU usage has an average of 40%. And to me, that is a GPU bottleneck that we are seeing here with Ultra. Now, we're looking at Ultra without... We're looking at Ultra without hyper-threading here. Sorry that the graph's a little different. I was kind of quick when I uh, made this. I forgot to click on simple mode. But it's the same order and same everything here. Just four cores instead of eight. And we got an average CPU usage of 64%. And again, GPU is pretty much pinged right here. It's trying to push out those frames, and we got an average of 55 frames per second. Now let's take a quick, you know, back and forth look here. Let's look at with hyper threading. So 40%, 57. So at Ultra, those extra cores really aren't contributing to any more frame stability here. The graph almost looks identical in the frame rate. Now let's take a look at low with hyper-threading. So we got an average of about almost, almost 60, 59% CPU usage. Again, we're pinging the GPU. 97% going there, and we get an average of 133. Now let's take off the hyper-threading, see if there's a difference. 
we got CPU usage of 88. The almost looks like it's a CPU bottleneck at this point. I mean, look how different the GPU usage. It's trying to get fed frames, but see the CPU is working so hard that it, it can't feed the GPU the frames that it needs. So it's, you know, almost 100% CPU usage, not quite staying a flat line 100% on the GPU. And then we got a little bit different looking frame rate. Now let's take a look at them back to forth so we get that comparison going here. We got 60% CPU, pretty much. Ah, I'm, I'm actually not quite sure. I mean, you could be pushing it if you're playing this game with a um, i5. And let's say you want to stream, or you're one of those people who multitasks in the background. Then um, the game might penalize you a little bit, and you might have a little bit of uh, less performance going on. But if you got an i7, you'll be able to stream, you'll be able to do videos, you'll be able to... Uh, have a pretty good experience with this game. It totally takes advantage of uh, the extra cores if you have them. One last little thing I noticed here was that the GPU RAM usage um, definitely got up to four gigabytes and above four gigabytes. So uh, if you're on a 970 and you pump everything up, um, maybe lower stuff down because um, it will be hitting that uh, 3.5 gigabyte issue, possibly. I don't know if it'll degrade performance. I can't test it. Don't have a 970 right now, but go Team Red. It's been a long day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I could do some more analysis videos. This is really what I enjoy doing. I don't like doing the whole, um, you, you know, how much FPS I get with my system and this is what it is. Um, I, I would rather do comparisons to help people understand their hardware choices a whole lot better. Remember to uh, click subscribe, like this video, do everything like that. I'll see you guys later.